On behalf of the International Hyperhidrosis Society, Dr. Deanna Glazer will demonstrate the Botox injection technique for plantar hyperhidrosis. For the foot, a starch iodine test is usually not needed to identify the area. Typically, the entire bottom of the foot, the toes, and the edge of the foot will receive injections. Each foot will receive an injection every one and a half to two centimeters. Each shot will be about 2.5 units of Botox, with 100 to 200 units being used per foot. Reconstitute 100 units of Botox brand botulinum toxin type A with 4 cc's of sterile saline. Draw the Botox into 1 cc syringes with a lure lock. Use a 30 gauge needle on each syringe. No topical anesthetic is used. Rather, ice, pressure, and vibration will be used to minimize discomfort. Before the procedure, a small balloon should be filled with water and then frozen. A child's small party balloon will work. This will be used to apply cold and pressure without water leakage. However, an ice cube could also be used. Hold the frozen balloon or ice cube with gauze or wear thermal gloves under your exam gloves. If needed, you can use a template to mark the injection points on the foot. For each spot to be injected, apply the water balloon with firm pressure for a count of 7 to 10. Apply the vibrator right next to the planned injection site for a count of 3. Make sure to apply pressure with the ice and the vibrator. After the 3 count, inject the site with 2.5 units of the solution. Injection should be at the dermis subcutaneous junction. Do this same procedure over the entire bottom of the foot. Discomfort should be minimal, and only a small amount of blood is to be expected. Counting out loud helps the patient to know when the injection is about to happen. The same process is used on the toes. Apply ice pressure and vibration, then inject. Each digit receives two to three injections. The edge of the foot should also be injected, as it is also a source of perspiration. Repeat the procedure on both feet.